Welcome back, crypto enthusiasts. It's your boy, Crypto Danks, back in the building, and we've got Riaz, founder of Rightstream, back with us today. How are you doing, Riaz? Good to see you. Hey, Danks. Great to be here again. And uh, yeah, I, I'm excited. You know, there's so many things going on within Rightstream, and uh, we, we've, you know, th things are moving at, at a breakneck pace, and you know, I, I think you guys might have heard the AMA with Joseph recently as well. Uh, Joseph is an absolute powerhouse for us. Absolutely. The man is a machine. He does not sleep. Literally. I believe, I'm not I believe it. <laughs> well, when I first met him and had the conversation, I was like, wow, this guy's awesome to be on the team. And, um, you know, he's, he's uh, definitely a brainiac behind, I'm sure, a motivating yeah. force of ideas and concepts he created the idea for the five pillars was that joseph yeah jo joseph is um some of the pillars existed but uh, joseph helped refine the the vision a little bit he also brought on the vision for right fund which um uh, which wasn't kind of uh, on our horizon before but then when he mentioned it to me i thought wow that's uh, that, that's amazing it's like we create the right fund and that really helps us uh empower a lot of projects and it takes things to a new level so uh I th that was a fantastic addition he also uh uh helped fine-tune the I idea of the right app as well uh be because you know that that's kind of his brainchild on how the community can get engaged with each of these projects um from the very outset of the journey through the production and after as well so he's he's added a couple of pillars that we didn't have and we had some pillars already so uh you know the one plus one may equals three that, that yeah. philosophy is worked yeah awesome awesome you mentioned the right fund i mean we could get right down to business you want to tell us a little yeah. bit about that that's exciting right yeah absolutely and thanks what we realize is that um it, uh, typically the A-list projects and, you know, the really special opportunities, the community doesn't often get to see them at all, right? By the time they see them, uh, it's already kind of past the seed rounds and the early stages and the institutions have come in and uh, a lot of the community gets involved much later. But um, there are members of the community that uh, have supported Rightstream in a big way and that have staked, you know, half a million tokens upwards and and uh they they have the capacity to invest in these projects at an early stage alongside our knights and that's why we decided to create the right fund so that if you wanted larger allocations in these uh amazing projects that we are shortlisting for the series then uh you could come into uh right fund you'd stake your uh, right tokens which gives an allocation into right fund and that way you will now have exposure to projects that the knights really believe in that mm. that the knights are going wow th this is the next big thing right, right. and uh, and then the fund will be able to invest in the next big thing on your behalf and we we take away all the hard work that uh, one might have to do and saying which project am i gonna invest in and uh you know we see all these TikTok videos people shilling you know this is the next hot thing but right. without a lot of fundamentals behind it. Now you're going to have the wisdom of the Knights, uh, plus our ability to invest in these projects, curated projects. And I believe it's, uh, it's got all the ingredients for success. Of course, there's a lot depending on market conditions and uh, other, other factors, but you give yourself the best shot by being in the fund. Very nice. So, yeah, yeah, absolutely. So this would be more like high ticket kind of staking, investing, getting um, more of an allocation into all of the projects that come on the show, not just the winning ones as well, right? Or you get more yeah. of the winning ones. Does there? Do you mind going a little deeper into how the allocation works? Yeah, no, absolutely. So, so the way it works is that we allocate a portion of the funds across all the projects that are in the show. Which means, think about uh, yourself now as a VC. This is what a VC does, right? They say, okay, I'm going to put down, you know, 20, 30 different bets here, and one of them is going to pay off big time. So Absolutely. that's the typical VC model, um, or 100 bets, whatever it is. So with the right fund, we allocate a portion across multiple projects so that 
you have exposure to everything that's in, in the TV series. And so if one of these really pops in a big way, then boom, you know, you made your money and much more mm -hmm. uh, just through Absolutely. that. But then uh, we'll also find products that the Knights are going, uh, you know, we want to double down on these, right? So the Knights have done their own due diligence and they're saying, uh, we think these are going to be real winners. So we can go deeper into that with the right fund, into those mm -hmm. specific projects as well. And then we might find across the series that one project shines above everything else and we'll say, okay, now we're going to place a much bigger bet on this one through mm -hmm. the right fund as well. So now you're getting this exposure uh, that is fairly broad, uh, but also laser focused on things that the Knights believe will take off and also the, that we, the people that have selected some of these projects to be on the show and that uh, we, we see that journey because we're covering the backstories as well. We get to know these projects quite intimately. We think, hey, this, these people really have something special. Then you get exposure to that as well. So now you're not just blindly investing in things in the market. You're, you're, you're kind of um, more like a VC in a sense. You know, you've, You've got people that are doing due diligence that are actually making very informed decisions for these investments. It's kind of like following the smart money, right? You got it, smart money investing, and you just exactly. Kind of, there's a lot, you know. We, you know, we track smart money wallets. You know, there's different apps and stuff, and you see which ones they're buying and see how much money yep. they're making. You can track everything. It's all on the blockchain as well, which is very interesting. So, exactly. very cool, very nice addition. Um, are the I'm kind of curious, like while the show and we'll get into pre-show and all that, but I don't know if you've gotten to when the show is airing, are people going to be able to invest into the right fund throughout the episode or the show, the season? Is is it going to be one show? I think it's one show, and then there's a winner for that show. Is that how it will be? And then is there more investing oh, going uh, on, or is it kind of a closed off after the season begins, or? So uh, let me walk through the mechanics of that. So uh, the right fund, you know, we, is in heavy demand. So we will be closing that off uh, okay. fairly soon. Uh, and, and, you know, much before the show actually gets produced because, you know, people are just like, yeah, they're aping into this one. Yeah. So <laughs> it's, uh, we, we, uh, and we can only get so, so much allocation into the different projects as well. So that's why we need to close off the fund and say, okay, this is how much we can actually deploy uh, across the seas series. So um, in terms of the show itself, we are currently in pre-production. So we've, we've started the process. We've uh, started shortlisting uh, the products that are going to be on the show, and we'll be announcing these fairly soon. Um, uh, we've started filming with some of the nights as well. We're going to start covering the backstories of some of the projects. So that machine has already started moving in the background. And this is hugely exciting. It's like what, what we want to do is have some amazing projects on the show. And uh, I, t I tell you what, the tier one projects, um, they're not that easy to get hold of uh, because, you know, they are already up there in, in that right. sense. And they're, they're coming to us because um, they see the benefit of being on the show. They, these guys don't need money. People are throwing money at them, right? Mm -hmm. So uh, for, for them, it's really about, okay, uh, being able to uh, uh, connect to a wider community through the wider audiences, audiences and so forth, and the benefit that they will get from that. So there's some amazing things happening on that front. Uh, and this is where the opportunity is for the community r right now, because we're giving the community the opportunity to participate in the private NFT sale that's coming up. And what's going to happen around that is that if you buy these NFTs, you automatically get exposure to about 30 projects that are in the series. Hmm. Now, so imagine the significance of that, right? That, um, again, uh, thinking about it from that VC perspective, right? Now you're a mini VC. You spent a couple of hundred dollars. Yeah. You got your <laughs> NFT. Yeah. But now, you, now you've spread your best across 30 different projects, which you wouldn't have been able to do before. Right. And that is a game changer, my friend, because Absolutely. essentially you're going to be able to 
uh, get uh, rewards from all of these, the project tokens, right? Uh, from all of these 30 projects, you're gonna get uh, airdrop these tokens. And then, you know, if these things pop, then you're gonna make, you know, pretty handsome profits out of that. And Absolutely. you didn't have to do much thinking. You kind of go, okay, um, now I'm with a team that has curated right. the projects. Right. I'm with knights that are actually investing in these projects. And I, I, I know that, you know, it, uh, some of these are going to be absolutely amazing. So how can I possibly go wrong? It's, uh, it, we want to make it a no-brainer. Well, so, what's cool is, is the people, the, group, the community itself, Telegram and, and your socials, it's like, like you said, a team, right? You're all in it together. You know, some exactly. of you will buy, you know, one NFT. So if you have more NFTs, do you get more allocation? Is that yeah. Absolutely? Okay, cool. Yeah, absolutely. So it's it's the same as saying, I'm going to invest uh, $200, I'm going to invest $1,000, right? So how many NFTs I'm going to buy, essentially. Sure, sure. So so that that allows you to, and there there is a cap on how many NFTs you buy. I think uh, it was announced the other day, you can probably buy up to 75 NFTs, I think. Oh, but wow. That's good, still a good chunk. It's, it's still a good chunk, and it's, um, but it, we wanted to give people a fair opportunity, but also we didn't want someone hogging all of the NFTs as well. Of course. So we, we wanted to make sure that this was um, uh, distributed amongst the community, that everybody gets a fair shot at it. And uh, by having these NFTs, the immediate benefit is going to be uh, the project tokens, right? But then over time, there'll be other benefits ensuing as well, right? In terms of early access to the show and um, uh, the, the, there's a few other goodies that we've got in store that we'll be announcing. But the key benefit is, you know, you've invested in these things and uh, you get exposure to all of these projects. It is amazing. Sure. Yeah, that's great. It's a great concept. I mean, the utility that's being built around Rightstream and Crypto Nights is particularly is quite fascinating. I believe, um, you know, I try to think about other projects doing some, everybody's got something different going on, but what you're doing is, is quite special with the utility being built into the staking that you're doing because that gives so much exposure and not just to the viewers and the investors, but also to those other projects that perhaps didn't win, you know what I mean? So exactly, you're, you're still getting their tokens. Oh, and you might like their, their, you know, yeah. it's not, they don't have to win for them to still do success, become successful, you know, no, and you get no, those tokens it, for free and then you look into them and you're like, okay, I might uh, buy more, you know? Yeah, you can, uh, cause <laughs> then later on, there'll be an opportunity to actually really double down on certain projects as well. Right. Well, because, We've talked about the Kryptonite launchpad, whereby you'll be watching the show and you'll say, I'm totally in love with this AI project, for example. And then uh, the, we, through the launchpad, you'll be able to get some allocation f into the project as well. And then, boom, you've got exposure across all of these. You've got, you can go deep even um, as a community member, just like the people in the right fund did, but they were bigger tickets. You can do that on a smaller scale. So it doesn't matter who you are within our community. There's a way for you to participate, for, for you to engage and benefit across across the board, literally. Very cool. So you did have the seed sale for the NFTs. That sold out like quick, right? Uh, yeah, man. It's like uh, all, all the people <laughs> that are in the right fund, they said, we want, we want these babies. So, Absolutely. Yeah. So that's gone, but you did... I saw some posts, you got a private sale or something coming up or, or what, what's up right. uh, if somebody wanted to pick up some NFTs still and they missed the first round, how would they go about yep. that? So I believe our private sale is uh, 22nd of April or thereabouts. I think it's in, in the timeline somewhere. Uh, don't quote me on this because Joseph is the master of these timelines and he, he handles all that in infinite detail, but it's coming up towards the end of April. Okay. So you, you guys will have the opportunity to participate in that. Uh, the, there's a whitelisting process that's going to happen before the sale. Um, and uh, all of that is there in our announcement channels. And so whitelist yourselves, then you can participate in the NFT sale. And being in that NFT sale basically gives, gives you a piece of 
history of kryptonites and it also gives you uh allocation across all of these 30 different projects that are in the show as well so i honestly thanks i don't see how anyone can lose by doing this it's no i don't yeah think so. i mean another good thing is that when these tokens are are, are locked up and staking you're pretty much solidifying that there's a baseline to the price action it keeps it stable the more people that stay i encourage like if i'm like Full disclosure, I'm fully staked with you. So I it's in my best interest in everyone else if we all stay staked and we get the benefits. Once we unstake, then there's no benefits unless maybe you have the NFT, I guess, right? But 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 to get that NFT, you have to be staked anyway. That Okay. gives you uh, entry to the NFTs. So Okay. staking is your pathway to getting that entry in the private rounds. Uh, otherwise, you'll end up in a public round, which will be at a much higher price, which means that um, uh, if you're a non-staker, then yes, you can still get the NFTs, but it'll be at a different price uh, Yeah. I in see. the public rounds. So people, even though they're not staking, they can still partake as um, you know, being kind of not hands on, but being involved in the project still in some form. <clears throat> Yeah, the public round will happen a bit later, and uh, we, we, the, then if you're if you haven't staked and you still want to come on the journey, then of course you know you're part of our community and we'll still welcome you. Um, but uh, people that stake get you know significant discounts on those NFTs, which means that your upside is dramatically improved as well when you get these project tokens. absolutely and then um yeah i guess it that's the way i mean that the whole ecosystem and like i was gonna say before is just it's very well thought through um i don't see any holes in it at all i think that it seems like a win-win um and as well uh, you know to kind of touch on the the The, 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 the nights that are going to be on as well. I like the approach that you've taken. It's the whole thing is very professional in my eyes, because then I see also the nights, you know, they're not just like these social media influencers. You see other shows trying to do, I see exactly what you're doing. You're bringing professionalism, experience, knowledge. You've got people that are in finance that are top 500 Forbes type of people, Yeah. you know, I don't know for sure exactly, Yeah. but But this is the, you know, OKXX founder, you know what I mean? So this is a very, this is a step up from anything I've ever seen as far as the Knights, the way the entire ecosystem works. I mean, the team that you've put together is, is quite extraordinary. The, the, the Knights, you're going to have those three you've released. Are there any more coming? Anything to say on the Knights aspect? Uh, thanks, thanks. Um, and, and I think you have hit a really key point that w when we want to go about building out Kryptonize and the foundation of Brightstream, literally, <clears throat> we wanted people on board that are credible. This is not a pump and dump scheme. It's not, you know, we didn't just want to uh, people that will shill the project, increase the token, and then they're out again and the token dumps, right? That's not what we want. We want a very solid foundation. And uh, if you look at folks like Brian, you know, Forbes Fund 40 under 40, he's um, a prolific investor. I think in the, like when I, when I was with him in LA, he said he's invested in like 70 projects within the last month alone. And he, and, you know, he knows how to pick the really good, uh, good projects out there and he conducts a lot of due diligence. Um, And he gets pitched like 10 projects a day, literally. No kidding. Wow. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm sure so. if you, people know you're invest. First, I'm sure these aren't small bags he's investing, and if they No, know he's, no. they're coming after him. So I can imagine. Exactly. Um, but then if you look at folks like Jay, I mean, former CEO of OKX, he's you know, a very, very solid guy. And for those of you that don't know, um, OKX was actually around even before Binance, believe it or not. That that exchange is, you know, one of the biggest on the planet, and Mm. uh, again, I think it's considered a tier one exchange, right? It's a tier one. it hundred percent is a tier Yeah. one exchange. Yep, Yeah. and, and uh, to actually build that it, it, uh, and take it to where it is, 
is just phenomenal. So bringing that experience on board onto our team. Um, and, and then I think you asked uh, another uh, question there in terms of are there going to be others? And uh, the answer is yes. Mm -hmm. So there'll be a variety of nights. Some will be guests, some will be permanent uh, on the panel. Uh, and, and this also depends on the schedules as well, right? These guys are super busy. Mm, so, sure, of course. Uh, but at the same time, we want to make sure that our products have opportunity to get exposure to different nights and that, uh, and, and that uh, we also get different people behind Crypto Nights as well and right stream. So that the bigger the panel, the better it is for the community and for the projects as well. Because the, the panel not only brings investment into these projects, but know-how, mentoring, support structures, and so forth, that unlocks a lot of other treasures for us in future as well. So we, we're handpicking quite a uh, few nights that we believe will uh, be fantastic for us uh, on, on this journey and that really believe in what we're doing as well. So Maybe after this bull run, I can be a knight on the next <laughs> next <'cause> season four. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. So. We'll see. We got to get ready there. to invest in a big way. <laughs> yeah, okay. we're working on it. Believe me. No, but but truly, you know, I think it's interesting when I think about Jay's perspective. I mean, he's seen what it, an, a tier one exchange and how cryptos react to you know all the narratives how they react on launch, the communities, what it's like, the onboarding, the market making, he's seen it all, you know what I mean? Yeah. So from that aspect yeah. alone, that's a gem. Brian, you know, and Zeneca themselves bringing what they bring to the table with their experience. You know, I don't know Zeneca's history and I, I don't know much about any of them, but I've read a little bit about all of them and they all have great contribution. Well, the, the super legit, um... And I know Jay is working on some really interesting projects that will actually benefit uh, the projects that are featured uh, on, on, cool. on the show. And given his background with exchanges, etc. So uh, uh, I won't steal his thunder, but uh, I'm sure he'll talk about it on, on his AMAs and so forth. Very cool. Very cool. Yeah, I mean, we just kind of wanted to do a quick update and, and find out where RightStream is at Thank today. You. I think these are kind of the key points we wanted to hit and talk about unless there was anything else on your mind that you thought us as you know the community would like to know about or we're, we're right there no man i i think this was a good point for us to reconnect and you know there's a lot of exciting things april is going to be a big month for us i can tell you that there are there's stuff that we haven't talked about yet that will be announced in the coming weeks which uh is super exciting and uh i take that just as a hint that there's some big things happening in the next couple of weeks there's so always big good. things happening with you riaz <laughs> so, you guys always got the big things going around so that's cool to see and uh, i'm happy to see you guys thriving and, and building out and um yeah so do you have a timeline before we close this up do you have a timeline of when we're looking to see season one uh, also, I'm imagining yeah. you're going to put out maybe little snippets of the nights and stuff like that throughout, kind of build some hype and stuff. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. It, we'll be peppering things along the way about the nights, about the projects, a little bit behind the scenes materials. You'll get to see that. Um, the show itself, we're anticipating will be uh, early August uh, okay. for it to drop. And it, everything is on track. But uh, before then, you'll there are lots of opportunities to engage with the projects, to engage with the Knights, and you'll see some BTS material for sure. Very cool. Well, you heard it there. Beautiful. If you want to be a part of, you know, literally history in the making is how I see it. You know, not financial advice, but take a look in the right stream, perhaps staking your tokens to get a little bit of edge over the public. And um, I'm excited to see what happens next. Beautiful. Thanks, right. thanks. Always thanks. good to be here. Great to chat, buddy. You take yeah, care. Yeah, absolutely. You too. Take care. Thanks for your watching, and we'll see you in the next one.